that movie MASH and the television show MASH at the beginning of the show featured the inimitable and iconic Bell 47. We're transporting wounded soldiers by helicopter to the mobile army surgical hospitals. The MASH units really increased the survivability of those soldiers. And that forever changed the way the army worked in its work with business. The two have Both of these aircraft were built by the same company of the UH-1 era Corps that had three major functions and roles during the Vietnam War. One was a slick as a troop carrier, another as a gun ship, and another as a desktop. Both of these aircraft were built by the same company. They could make things happen in a big way. The gunner, so it was a look and shoot weapon. by his left hip, he brings it into a hover and ever so gently touches the skids down on the taxiway at the edge of the runway right in front of us. Actually bend up or as they, as they uh, bend to support the weight of the Huey. The eight 
H1 Cobra had a top speed of about 220 miles per hour, powered by two General Electric turboshaft engines, each one generating about 1,723 shaft horsepower. The Huey, as it became known, UH for utility helicopter, UH-1, Huey, the Iroquois, initially was powered by a 1400 horsepower engine. And you can see those rotors as they combed upwards just a little bit. It had a maximum speed of 126 miles. Operating as a gunship, it proved itself to change the way the Army fought. Between these two pilots, they have over 80 years of experience flying helicopters, and they both learned when they were in their mid-teens. Flying a helicopter is not easy. It's not so bad when they're just uh, flying along as they are now, but when they try to hover a helicopter, it's very much like standing on a beach ball and rubbing your tummy and patting your head at the same time. It takes an amazing amount of coordination to control a helicopter the way these pilots are doing it. Their sponsors, Northwest Helicopters, located in Olympia, Washington. Final pass coming up as out, way out on the grass out in front of us, the Huey is coming in to land, but the Cobra is going to get the last word today for us. Brian Reynolds and the Olympic Flight Museum. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause, if you will, for the aircraft from the Olympic Flight Museum.